Dallas Cowboys training camp is less than two weeks away, and already Ezekiel Elliott is the number one topic on the minds of much of the sports media here in Dallas, and for good reason. Although Roger Goodell decided, what, two weeks ago, that he wasn't going to suspend Zeke any games in this upcoming season, a major relief for Cowboy fans, it's nevertheless a story that doesn't want to go away. We know of the incident. Zeke gives a little bump and shove to a EDC security guard working at a music festival in Las Vegas a couple months back. Uh, the guard here, pictured here behind me, is one Kyle Johnson. At the time, he didn't want to press charges, but now in light of the NFL not suspending Zeke, he's decided he wants to do just that. His father has some kind of legal background, and therefore they are pressing charges against Zeke's camp. But here's the thing, they have no leverage. The NFL already went through everything with a fine-tooth comb. There is nothing in there substantial enough for the NFL, who likes to go out of their way to make examples of Cowboys, especially Zeke in the past. So we know there's something there. If there was something there, if there was something there, there, they would have already done something about it, but they're not. So the fact that now, days later, over a week later after the Goodell decision, you have Kyle Johnson and his father now pressing charges tells me that they're either A, still seeking out their 15 minutes of fame, or B, more likely the case, looking for some kind of settlement or payday. Now here's the thing, right? It doesn't make sense because he cites the whole reason of this is, I wanted an apology, that was all I wanted. I got an apology, but I didn't think it was a sincere apology. It was kind of like, oh, I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. I'm just being told to do this. Who are you, guy? Like, who are you? Why are you bothering all of this? You're just keeping your name out there and your brand. And now, in this latest round of press, as you talk with Fox News there in Las Vegas, you're bringing your dad into it. And any question I had on... What kind of father would allow his son to go through and do all this thing, like make a media circus around himself when it just looks sorry? Well, his father spoke up and now I understand. Oh, he said initially all he wanted was a sincere apology. When Johnson said he didn't get it, it was time to take the matter before a judge. Kyle Johnson says he's had enough moments after walking out of Metro Police headquarters. But to just not have anything happen to him, you know, the NFL is basically saying, hey, you know, like, it's okay for you to go to Vegas, you know, get, get obliterated and then go shove people over fences. It comes after this incident between Johnson and Dallas Cowboy running back Ezekiel Elliott. Zeke turned around and said, oh, you got something to say. And that's when he started to get up in my face and then ended up shoving me. But as he was getting in my face, I threw my hands up and I was like, hey, Zeke, you're a big man. Like, you're in the NFL. Uh, and that, that's all I said to him before, you know, he came up to me, you know, bumped me, and then shoved me over a metal railing. This happened back on May 19th at EDC around 3 o'clock in the morning. Johnson said at the time he didn't want to press charges. It's 3 in the morning, 12 hours into my shift, had another 4 or 5 to go. Uh, didn't really, like, think about it at the time. Knew I wanted to go home first, you know. Uh, my dad has a legal background. Definitely wanted to talk to him before, you know, I made any decision on my own at that point in time. Elliot did apologize shortly after the altercation happened, but Johnson says the apology wasn't exactly sincere. Just very, like, unempathetic, you know, like, oh, I have to do this. I'm being forced to do this. Like, I don't want to be here right now kind of thing. Now Johnson and his family say they want the professional athlete to be held accountable. I've had a lot of angry Cowboys fans, you know, uh, kind of threaten me over social media and that kind of thing. If I had been there, Zeke would have been the next guy on the ground. <laughs> All right, middle-aged white dude, middle-aged white dude, lawman. You think that Zeke would have been the next one on the ground. Okay. Yeah, good luck with that. NFL linebackers can't take Zeke down very easily. Sometimes it'll take multiple linebackers to take him down. And you think your 40 midlife crisis ass is taking him down because of him bumping your son. All right. Whatever, dude. This is the story that just needs to go away. I don't know if it will, but this is, this is an absurdly silly story at this stage because there's not enough to it like zeke was detained he was cuffed but he was never arrested nothing went down on his record for that the nfl still brought him in because they like to keep a real close eye on cowboys and look for the slightest misstep to slap some kind of suspension or fine or something on them 
And in the end, they decided, mm, nah, not really enough to give a suspension. But we can say, hey, even another incident of this caliber, that's a suspendable offense now moving forward. Fine. It just shows the razor thin ice that Zeke is walking on. That's mixing two analogies there, so not quite the right way to put it. But the dangerously thin ice that Zeke has to navigate now, pretty much here on out, because I don't know what his next suspension length would even be if it happened. But regardless, there's no more there's no more like, oh well, was this a really bad enough incident to is his name still Ezekiel Elliott? Yes, then yes, it is a egregious enough offense in Roger Goodell's mind that he can and will suspend him moving forward. Kyle Johnson, his his dad whatever, dude. Go go for it. You have no leverage though. The only way the NFL would do its own double jeopardy in this case to retry Zeke would be if there was enough public outcry. But here's the thing. You and your dad just look like goofs. No one takes you seriously. Everyone looks at you and thinks, you're not a serious person. You're just looking for a payday. You're looking for some kind of settlement. You don't expect this to go to court because you wouldn't get anything in court. You know you wouldn't win the case, so you're just hoping that just to get it out of the way, they'll give you some kind of settlement, and that will be sticking it to Zeke if he has to give you some kind of check from his money. But you don't have the leverage for it. You don't have the public perception. You don't have the NFL's attention anymore. It's over, dude. It's over. Just move on and call it a day. You already got your 15 minutes. There's no reason you need to try and now come out and get a payday from Zeke. I'm sure you're the kind of person that will eventually do some kind of book deal or something like that just to be able to be like, what happened that night with Ezekiel Elliott? It left a deep scar on my heart. <laughs> Come on, dude. Just just call it a day. Pack it up. Call it a day. Your 15 minutes of fame are over. You're not getting whatever money you're looking for.